I definitely feel lucky to be negative because I've been in situations where I should be sitting here positive. We can't get past the label. I'm not having sex, and a large part of that is because I am so fearful of becoming positive. I've just like always let it know that I'm I do look for people that are HIV negative. I don't think about like I don't want to move out possibility. Like anything happens. I always in time speak every single time with all my partners if I was positive or negative. And I do get a lot of uh, people don't believe me um, when I say that. Uh, they say, oh, you slipped up once or twice. No, I haven't slipped up uh, once or twice. I make it a requirement that we get tested together, unless I already know that you're HIV positive because I am open to uh, serious discordant relationships. It's not a problem with me. I would not knowingly sleep with a positive guy. I feel personally that if I were to contract HIV, that it's a death sentence. So I would, I am just fearful. I've been on PrEP for about a few months and uh, condoms I've been using since I was 16. I don't use, always use condoms, but um, the, the, the PrEP definitely um, I use every day and for the past three months. I mostly sleep with guys who are HIV positive and undetectable. Um, because I feel like it's much safer than sleeping with someone who is negative and may not actually know their status. If I'm speaking with someone who's HIV positive and undetectable, it's easier for us to have that status conversation and get to the point of fucking. I'm not going to go into any type of situation with an HIV positive individual if I know that your viral loads are very, very high. A lot of my friends are really like shocked at how much sex I have, and it's usually um, it's usually something that they can't really understand at first. I will sleep with any man that, that, that feels is attractive, and there's a, and there's a, there's a connection. A, a lot of people frequently say to me, like, you're going to get it soon, or um, they think I'm crazy, they don't understand it. I meet my guys um, at the bathhouse um, or at bar via phone apps or via Craigslist. I used to love the internet and meeting guys online, but um, as of the past you know, few years, as you know, I've gotten older, I've really kind of just stay with my close network of people that I already know. Now, I prefer to meet people just through people. If it's something that we want to hang out more or get to know each other on a more serious level, then I actually make it this big dramatic thing where we sit down and we say, okay, we need to have this talk. You know, the talk that we, that all gay men have to have with each other, you know, the, the really intense talk. Let's talk about HIV. I am scared that people are being more promiscuous because they know that if they catch HIV, that, that they're going to probably be okay which is the case. For me, that scares me even more because it just makes me think that everyone is being a lot more unsafe and having a lot more sex that I'm not having. So I used to think that like having bareback sex was this bad thing because everyone, it was like something that like me and my partner, if we got drunk and didn't use a condom, um, afterwards we would be like, oh my God, we should have used a condom. Um, but I always had all these thoughts of like, I had a lot of fun not using a condom. I do take risks with people that say that they are negative. Um, I think that any any situation that I put myself into sexually is a risk. Like you can have a much deeper connection when you're having sex with someone without a condom and you're not scared of anything. Um, and you're coming in each other's holes. If you contact me and say that you only want to do raw, that's a red flag for me. Raw sex is the best sex. If I fell in love with an HIV positive man and he was undetectable and we were together for a very long time, um, I may have some hesitancy um, in the back of my mind, but I may still bear back with him, um, knowing that my risk is very low, the fact that he's undetectable and the fact that I am popping. Um, you know, the, the risk is very, very low. I'm not 100% comfortable um, with what I've read. I don't, I don't know that it's 100% uh, that, it, that you couldn't contract it? Positive is positive. Um, even if even if you are untouchable, it's there is a chance of you um, giving your HIV to someone else. Even if it is if they're not on prep or not wearing condoms. I do feel that my fear prevents me from hearing about the the real risks of, of, of catching HIV. I think a lot of positive guys forget what it's like to be negative and forget what it's like to not they forget what it's like to be negative and they forget what it's like to um, 
be scared of getting HIV. What comes to mind when I think of pause guys is I wonder what happened in the situation when they when they contracted HIV. I want to. I always wonder what was happening in that situation. Were you intoxicated? Were you drug induced? Were you just being unsafe for the fun of it? A lot of them are very. You know, they take care of themselves. They. Um, it's not something we're discussing on a regular basis. We don't need to be paid. We don't need to be. So, oh my gosh, for him, for him, they want to live their own lives the way we all do. More positive guys can be inviting about teaching the negative guys the facts instead of just telling them that they're stupid or saying, like, I'm undetectable, I'm not going to hurt you. And it's like, you have to tell someone what that means. You can't just throw words around and get angry at someone because they don't want to have sex with you without a condom. I actually uh, just got tested a couple weeks ago and I was nervous. I was in there and I was going through every sexual experience I had in the past six months in my head. Uh, did a comic break or, you know, um, were they positive or not? What was the viral load? You know, I was thinking all these questions in the back of my mind. I actually was not nervous at all um, because at the time I, w I was on PrEP. So, and I'm very confident that I'm being on PrEP, that I will not be infected as long as I take it every day. For a long time I was just having sex with anyone without a condom. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of amazing that I'm still not going to like my, everyone in my network eventually becomes positive, even with the education, and it's almost like in my neck. For a really long time, I just felt like a time bomb. Like it was just like, I was just like waiting to get it. Cause, um, and every time I would have sex, I'd be like, I wonder if that was it. Um, so sometimes they feel that way, but... Um, there's also a really big part of me that, like, I don't want to say I don't care if I tear open her, but, um, but it's not a death sentence anymore. Like, we, all, everybody knows that. I'm not someone who would well adjust to that type of lifestyle change if I was to tell them HIV positive. I, I love cum, so and cum is a, is, is, is a huge factor in getting infected. So, for me, it's definitely um, been tricky staying like this. I actually think cum is kind of nasty, to be honest. I don't like it all be near me, around me. I don't want it on my face. I don't want it in my mouth. I don't want to swallow it. Cum is like 100% hot to me. I do think of any secretion involved. I, 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 I think of HIV. There's all these barriers and all these checklists that I have to go through um, just to be intimate with a partner. And it, it gets hard. It gets... It does sometimes make sex a little bit less hot. I don't feel that there is a there is a, a, a tension uh, between positive and, and negative uh, people in in my community. I don't see it. I don't hear about it. There's tension between both positive and negative men. Um, being that you know, if positive, you don't want to hit men who are negative because you have to feel like you you're holding back and doing with men who are negative. I feel that there's this, there's this fear of being affected. As fearful as I am of HIV and becoming positive, I get it. I get that they're at a, at a place now in their life where that is one thing that they don't have to worry about. And sitting here being as fearful as I am of HIV to live a life where all that fear is kind of taken away. Usually when I meet someone who's positive, it's almost like it's like a relief to me, like I've met someone more similar to me. HIV positive men uh, in my community are being are, are much more promiscuous than HIV negative men. I think I have sex, I have, I have as much sex as a positive guy does, so I guess maybe kind of <laughs> generalize it. It frightens me because I'm just scared that they're not telling everybody that they're sexual with, that they're positive. Many positive guys already make assumptions that you know, now that I'm positive, nobody wants me, or that I can't be in a relationship, or dealing with HIV negative men, um, that they won't want me, or they won't, don't want to be in a relationship, and that they're going to judge me. But I think that there are assumptions and they're not actual conversations that are being had with these HIV negative men. Would it be easier for me to have sex if I was positive today in 2014? I think so. There are times when I do feel it's going to happen. I'm going to be affected one day. I don't think that I'll ever become HIV positive. 
I don't uh, want to rule out the possibility. Like anything happened. Again, what I'm into, it's definitely if I'm not going to be on prep for my life, then it's definitely going to be a, a win if kind of moment. But then once I kind of like learned a lot more about HIV and risk and how to reduce it and serosorting and learned what undetectable meant, um, I kind of figured out a way that I can have sex without harming myself and I can have the type of sex that I want to have, which is bareback sex. Because I'm so fearful of it to relinquish that fear of my, in my life just to get rid of that fear, um, I don't know what that's like. There's so many divides and now you're adding HIV status into it as well too. And then we want to have these healthy, loving relationships with the white picket fence and the, you know, the two kids and the dog, but we can't get past these labels. It's always this positive, so there's a wall up, you know, there's a wall up. You know, I for one am so willing to break the wall down and figure out the hard work and who they are. Because being gay is a really beautiful thing, and it should be about it should be about community, not being about hating each other because you're positive or negative or or whatever. It's not beyond positive. It's not too late. But.